You realize we're headed straight towards a cliff, don't you? I mean, there's no way down from here. We're gonna have to find another way around, which will take us, I don't know, at least a half a day. There's an old goat path that will take us down. What the? Oh, wow. How can you tell me about any rides like this, Dad? I did tell you that there'd be a lot more for you to see next time you visited. These rides aren't even online yet. That path was ancient, carved into the stone. It survived storms, earthquakes. Look, it's, it's too late to go around, and it's too dangerous to go back the way we came. Just use the radio. Contact the rescue team. It is our best chance of survival. Down there. We can ride this contraption to get us down to that exit. We're gonna ride it? That lever. It looks like it would set the tracks to stop at that exit. Yes, but that's the emergency lever. Besides, it's obviously not ready for people to use. Well, it looks like the only way. You find us a safe way down, or I'll throw you down. If I can get the power on, I might be able to set the, the ride to maintenance mode from up here. What's maintenance mode? It'll switch the tracks, same as the emergency lever. Basically, it lets the employees use the tracks for work and repairs instead of for fun. But I don't see any cars on the main track, Dad. Get the power on. We're still going? Yeah, it's getting dark. We cannot go back the way we came, and it sounds like the dinosaurs are getting ready to hunt. Are they hunting us? Well, they're still a good ways off, but we shouldn't stick around here for long. Listen, if we're gonna make it to the coast, we're gonna have to work together to make it there alive. Understood? You, come with me. We're gonna get some cars on the track. There, stand by the lever. You're gonna help me get the cars on the track. Hey, Dad, what are these cars for? They don't have any seats. My guess is those are utility carts. We gotta get them off the track and load in some cars we can actually sit in. Move the scaffolding. How am I supposed to do that? It's like way too heavy. Okay, these, these are the main controls for the roller coaster. I should be able to set it to maintenance mode from here. So, to get the ride started, we need three cars on the loading track in the right order. You stay there. Your daughter and I will get the cars back on the rails. Hey, looks like the crane is functional. Good. Now do something useful with it. Hey, what are you doing? I'm trying to help. You keep that thing away from me. Okay, sorry. Judging by the layout of this place, I'd say the power station must be over in that area. Stay there. You go. Okay, so, like, what am I looking for? Power station. Look for doors.
Hmm. Nothing here. That looks like it. Open them up and throw the main switch. The doors are locked. Well, I don't have a key. That's cool. I'll just bust the windows. This should get me into those doors. Shoot. This should get me into those doors. Awesome! Okay, I, I can reach inside, but what am I looking for? Jess, there are two large switches inside, but you probably won't be able to reach them like that. Get past these doors somehow. Jess, over here. Okay, I'm coming. Let's go. We need that scaffolding off the track. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's going anywhere unless you're way stronger than you look. Just push it! I can't. You push it. Power's still out. We can't go any further until we get it back on. Huh. What are we missing here? Better not. Hey, what about this? Can you use it for anything? Maybe he'll get onto the loading track. But what if we damage the track? Then there's no way down. We could do something with this, right? I know some people I'd like to see on the end of that hook. Starting with John Hammond and the rest of InGen. We could do something with this, right? Attach it to the scaffolding. We can use the crane to lift it off the tracks. Stand back, Jess. So, why does the carousel have power when the rest of the ride doesn't? The storm or something really scrambled the power systems yesterday. Some cut out, some are still online. I... Aha! It works! Okay. That's pretty cool, actually. I've gotta get past these doors somehow.
power's still out. You can't go any further until we get it back on. I guess nothing's gonna happen until we get the power on, huh? Jess, come here. There's no open slot to move the car into. That's how they pick cars. There's no open slot to move the car into. any more cars on the track. I'll have to move some off first. slot to move the car into. I think that's right. Hey, the cars are all on the loading track. Now it's up to you. What's that? I don't know. Predators. They're still too far away for me to tell which ones, thank goodness. Not a T-Rex though, right? Definitely not a T-Rex. get past these doors somehow. I guess nothing's gonna happen until we get the power on, huh? Power's still out. We can't go any further until we get it back on.
Jess, be careful. What are you doing with that hook? I've got a plan. You're gonna love this. Okay, Dad, your turn. Everyone get back. Awesome. Okay, that's one. Welcome to the Bone Shaker! Looks like we have power. Whoa, cool. Okay, come on back. What are you gonna do if the rescue team shows up? What? I mean, they probably heard that noise. Let's... Not worry about the rescue team right now. Well, that ought to do it. The ride should stop and let us out at the maintenance exit, instead of doing the normal loop. It's all set. Oh. Well, that's it. Since the ride is in maintenance mode, it should be safe. It won't go very fast. Come on. The sooner we get to the coast, the sooner this will all be over. Hang on. This is gonna be a short trip. We go for a little ride. Please, 
don't say right. So what did you call those things that were chasing you? Hairy sauruses? Herrerasaurus from the Triassic era. Now that we've bred them, we can easily classify them as early theropod. Oh, yeah, early theropod. That's exactly what I've been saying all these years. Right, Oscar? Where's Denny? Decaf! You take the chopper. I'll check the perimeter. Stay put. H-U-121, eh? I haven't seen one of these in a while. Boy, your pilot's a real slob. Keep your mouth shut. Don't even think about it. Danny's, and it's jammed. Oscar! I don't like what's going on here, man. Decaf's gun's jammed, there's a blood trail over there, and he never leaves his helmet on the ground. Never! Decaf is M.I.A. M.I.A. M.I.A.? No way, man. He was supposed to stay with the chopper. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Billy, you feel that? We've already lost Bravo team, and, 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 and... Billy! Look, we are not leaving without Decaf. I mean, we agree, right? Oh man, I will not let you turn this into Nicaragua all over again. At ease! We've got a situation here. Inside the chopper, now! I've got no power. I'm on it. I gotta take the other one out of the chopper first. Try it now. That battery's not responding. Try another one. Did you see that, Oscar? I don't like when that happens. Pick up the pace!
You're a good little thief. You know how to open handcuffs? So who's left? Dr. Sorkin and her assistant. Then we get the hell out of here. What about Decaf? Decaf's dead. I like your tattoos. Why don't you tell her what your tattoos mean? What do they mean? Gravestones are for the people who died beside him. The skulls are for the people who died because of him. Tell us, where are you gonna put Decaf's tombstone? You running out of room. What did you say? Hey, come on. It's been a long day and everyone's just a little tense. Let's keep it together, guys. I'm not afraid of you two. Me? Yeah, well, I'm more of a lover than a fighter. But Oscar... You know, I've seen Oscar knock out someone's teeth for a lot less. When I say teeth, I mean face. Don't be fooled. You're in the company of killers. You're no safer than you were in the jungle. Company of killers? Oh, that's got a nice ring to it. Yeah, it could be a hit single. Yeah, you're in the company of killers. Yeah! You need further proof that these men are crazy? This is what they do. They hurt people, and then they joke about it. Speaking of jokes, Oscar, tell the one about the priest, the stripper, and the bucket of frogs. <laughs> Pay attention! This is how men act when they lack the courage to face themselves. No, I like to look at myself. I mean, check out this gorgeous face. Who wouldn't? I'm surprised you can see it all with your head stuck up your... That's enough! Oh, boy. What are you gonna do, kill me? You did that to me once already. You're crazy! I think of getting a butterfly tattoo on my I'm ankle. I'm gonna carve the names of the people you killed into those skulls of yours. Then we'll hey. see how proud you Listen, are of them. Listen, there's still more people who need our help. Whatever your issues are, you can work them out when we get to the mainland. And no, you cannot get a tattoo. Dr. Harding. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. After we lost contact, I was worried something had happened to you. We have had quite a day, Dr. Sorkin. I'll bet. Systems are down all over the damn park. Dinosaurs are running free. Bring the kids. Fun for all. Hey, don't worry, kid. We're fairly geographically cut off from the rest of the island out here. Nothing but herbivores around these parts. What's going on here? There were some complications. Who are you? Uh, yeah, we're the band. Uh, where can we set up? Excuse me? I'm just kidding. InGen sent us. We're the cavalry come to the rescue. I'm Billy Yoder. And this is Look, let's just get this out of the way. I'm not going anywhere. This part of the island is pretty remote and is a long way from the Predators. I'm perfectly safe and I don't need saving. That's not a good idea, ma'am. But, since you're here, what you can do is start loading the stacks of bureaucratic in-gen paperwork that's taking up valuable space. They were supposed to have sent for that stuff months ago. Listen, lady, we don't have time for this. You either get in the helicopter peacefully, or I will personally knock you out, put you in cuffs, and throw you in! You lay one hand on me, and I will have you so ass-deep in litigation that you'll be reading legal text for a decade! Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? If it'll help us get off this island faster, we'll move your boxes. Where are they? Over there, at the loading dock. You heard the lady. Hey, can I help? Sure, why the hell not? Well, geez, don't be so excited about it. Yeah, you're right. This is a big deal. I should be throwing a box moving party. Thanks for coming to rescue us. It's what I do. That and moving people's stuff around. I could use a few good marks in my employee file. It's been a rough year. 
I know, right? I almost got suspended for skipping class too much. Mom would have killed me. <laughs> well, we all got problems. Are you serious? What? I'm taking a break. Good idea. Don't want you to strain yourself. So what's the deal? Why didn't you tell Dr. Sarkin why it's so important to get off this island? Trust me, if we bully that one, she's gonna cause problems. So what do we do? Simple. Charm her. Look, all I need to do is get some information on this woman. Dig into her past. Find out what makes her tick. I'm sure if I say enough of the right things, she'll practically think getting off the island was her idea in the first place. Hey, can I bum one of those? Okay. How the hell does Dr. Sorkin think we're gonna load all this crap into the chopper? Dunno, but you better do it if you want to get on a good side. Uh, okay, well, thanks, you've been a great help. Are you gonna do any work around here? What, are we union now? <laughs> Hey, Oscar, was there any dirt on Dr. Sorkin in the mission briefing? If I'm gonna have to use the old Yoder charm, I'll need some intel. Big-time protester in the 70s, lots of animal rights crap. Handful of arrests for it. All of her Indian-related history is classified. Said to expect her to be a pain in the ass. It said that? Between the lines. So, Sorkin. Hippie type. Got arrested a bunch protesting for animal rights. If you want to tag along with us, that's cool. Just give Oscar his space. He doesn't do very good with kids. Or adults, or animals. Come to think of it, he doesn't do very good with anybody. Just stay out of his way. Ugh, smells like a barrel of wet dog hair. I know, right? I don't get why dinosaurs eat that stuff. So, who feels like carrying these boxes back to the helicopter? Me neither. I'm not moving these things. They look like they weigh a ton. I think Dr. Sorkin said we're only supposed to move file boxes. Oh, yeah. Well... Wait here. I'm gonna go talk to Sorkin. Uh, what should I do? You wanna help? See if you can dig up anything interesting on our friend Dr. Sorkin in those file boxes. Cool. I mean, what was Hammond thinking? The man continually ignored the warnings of his own scientists over marketing people, shareholders, everyone. A disaster like this was inevitable. So that girl is your daughter? Yeah, my youngest, Jess. You know, Doc, I saw some bites like that at one of my men back at the visitor center. Mr. Call me Billy. Mr. Yoder, would you please tend to the InGen files like we discussed? Yes, ma'am. Hey, you know who our prisoner is? Because no one else seems to. Well, I've never seen her on the island before. I don't recognize her as someone who works for InGen. But I don't know everyone, so it's possible. Hey, Doc, you got a pharmacy inside? It's gonna be a long flight back if we don't get this prisoner either elated or sedated. She seems harmless enough now, and she's adequately secured. Are you afraid she's gonna beat you up? Well, I do have a history of women wanting to get their hands on me. I hate to interrupt, ma'am, but I really think we need to be going. I'm afraid I can't, Mr. Yoder. Someone needs to tend to the dinosaurs during this disaster. I'm sorry, Dr. Sorkin, but InGen wants all survivors back on the mainland as soon as possible. No exceptions. Why can't it wait? Look, Dr. Sorkin, we already caught one unauthorized trespasser. Who knows who else is on the island? Your life may be in danger. I'll take my chances, thank you. Please, ma'am, if we don't get you back, 
I'm gonna get in a lot of trouble. I'll probably lose my job. Well, I don't wish that on anyone, Mr. Yoder, but I'm afraid it can't be helped. I can't abandon these dinosaurs just so you have a job. Gotta get back, because, uh, you never know the prisoner could have a relapse or something. Highly unlikely. Is there anything I can say to convince you to come with us? If there is, you haven't said it yet. Right. So how did you know to treat her with a tranquilizer? Unfortunately, this isn't the first time I've encountered this. Dr. Sorkin... As I told you, I'm staying behind to watch after the animals. I'm sorry, but we really need to get you out of here. Why? Someone needs to speak to the board about protecting these dinosaurs. You believe in animal rights, don't you? Wouldn't you put your neck on the line for them? Huh. You have a point. But as long as John Hammond is in charge, the animals are gonna need me here to ensure that they're treated with respect. Listen, Hammond really made a mess of this place, you have no idea. There's no hiding his incompetence after this disaster. Well, obviously that's true. If only the board had listened to my proposals. Instead, they just contribute to the paperwork and the file boxes you guys are loading. Trust me, there is a very good reason. Well, come back when you think of one. You know, if you're in some kind of trouble with InGen, I might be able to help. I know people on the board of directors. You won't get anything out of her, but I don't think she wants to do anyone any harm. So, what'd you find out? Looks like Dr. Sorkin wanted to turn this place into a dinosaur preserve instead of an amusement park. And InGen didn't go for it, huh? Why would they? There's no money in that. So Dr. Sorkin has a weakness for preserving wildlife. Good to know. Oh, that's a lot of rejected dino preserve proposals. Yep. You gotta hand it to the lady. She don't give up easy. Do you know, he actually told me it doesn't matter that we have dinosaurs from the Jurassic and Triassic ages living together, as long as it's exciting. More I know that you're angry and scared and you've got to be exhausted. What's so important to you to... Dr. Sorkin. Why do you think interrupting me is going to work this time? Wouldn't this place be better off as some kind of dinosaur preserve? I mean, it's kind of stupid to treat these creatures like they're in some kind of circus, right? You're absolutely right, Mr. Yoder. But none of this matters if the board of directors... Okay, look, I'm not supposed to say this, but I heard the board is going to hold an emergency meeting about, you know, new leadership. If you were there... You could act as a witness to the events that took place here. They'd have to listen to you. That's true. I hate to admit it, Mr. Yoder. But perhaps you're right. And our orders also mention an assistant? David. Yes. I'm afraid David won't be coming back with us. He told him to stay away from the quarantine oh, Dr. Pens. Sorkin, I'm, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Now, before we go, I have some work in the lab that must be completed first. Dr. Harding, perhaps you and your daughter would like to assist me. I've been working on a cure for one of our dinosaurs' nastier genetic disorders. Oh? Which one? It's dietary. Right up your alley. Dr. Harding, we've done it! And what exactly have we done? Reverse the lysine contingency, of course. Wait, what's that? InGen, Henry Wu added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. You cannot give that to the dinosaurs. They need to be contained. If any of them get off the island... Okay, listen. I've been working with the Parasaurs Behavioral Program for months now. If I go back to the mainland to fight for this place, they'll all be dead before I can get back, along with all of my research. Parasaurs? Parasaurolophus. They're herbivores, generally safe. Let me give the solution to them, to see if it even works. How many are we talking about? Why don't you come out with me? 
see how much progress we've made with them. Can we, Dad? Fine. We'll go. Cool. I'm glad to finally have you out here, Dr. Harding. Despite the circumstances, we've been doing some very interesting work with our parasaurs. Behavioral communication experiments. You've interpreted their calls? Some of them. And I plan to use that to get them out of the pen. Out? Well, I'm not going to treat their water with them still in there. How do we know there aren't any bad dinosaurs around? Trust me, sweetie. If there were any predators, we'd know. See that one? She's the lookout. She'll stand guard while the others graze. If there were any predators in the vicinity, she'd be nervous and emitting a danger call. But she's not. She's calm. Jerry, you can activate the speakers from there. Jess and I will set the various parasaur sounds that play through them. Dad, it's okay. I mean, it's safe, right? The parasaurs will warn us of trouble before it gets close. Stay with Dr. Sorkin. So, what do we do? We can't just shoo the animals out. But we should be able to manipulate them into moving using their own sounds. Cool. These speakers on the west side of the pen can be set to play a parasaur food call that will attract the hungry dinos. The speakers on the east control the mating sounds that will attract the more, uh, amorous dinosaur. What about the big set of speakers in the middle of the pen? Ah, those emit the danger call. The parasaurs will instinctively move away from it. So basically we can herd the dinosaurs out of this pen using the speakers and their sounds. How do I turn on the speakers? I'll have to tell your dad to do it when we're ready. Dr. Harding? Yeah? I need you to activate the east side speakers, please. East side, okay. <laughs> they'll really turn this place into a nature preserve after this? Like Mr. Yoder said, that guy was lying through his teeth regarding the board. But it did give me a thought. This is a huge setback for InGen. Maybe Hammond's role as CEO isn't as safe as he thinks. Dr. Harding? Yeah? West side speakers, please. If we want to move the dinosaurs forward, we might need to give them a good scare from behind. Oh, we can use the danger call. Good thinking. Need a quick reminder about how the speakers work? Yes, please. These speakers on the west side of the pen can be set to play a parasaur food call that will attract the hungry dinos. The speakers on the east control the mating sounds that will attract the more, the uh, amorous dinosaur. The big speakers in the center emit a danger call that will scare the dinos away from it.
Dr. Harding? Yeah? Activate the danger speakers. Dr. Harding? Yeah? East side speakers again. Dr. Harding? Yeah? West side speakers, please. So I heard you were like a hippie protester or something in the 70s. Where did you hear that? From Yoder. The 70s were a tumultuous time. I fought for what I believed in, and sometimes it gets you arrested. You were arrested? And you still got a job as a, you know, scientist? Paleogeneticist. And yes, youth is the time to be reckless and test your boundaries. It's how you learn what's important to you. Dr. Harding? Yeah? Activate the danger speakers. That's it. They're out. Good job, Jess. Dr. Harding? Yeah? West side speakers, please. Dr. Harding? Yeah? East side speakers again. to your assistant. Let's not talk about that right now. Well, did you work with him long? It doesn't matter. Oh. Listen, he was a wonderful young man. And I am sad. I really am. But if I let that stop my work, then all these animals will die too, trapped behind the walls that we built. You understand? Dr. Harding? Yeah? Activate the danger speakers. Finally! Go forth and multiply. <laughs> You're 
pretty good at this. Maybe you'll be a behavioral scientist someday. Maybe I will. Ah, this is why she was elected to be the lookout. What's wrong with her foot? It's a broken toe. Feel free to have a look. I just have to do one more thing and then we can leave. Lysine. If the dinosaurs have a fighting chance, they'll need the solution to survive. I'm still not sure. Jerry, this is my life's work. These are basically my children. I'm not gonna let these creatures die because some bureaucrat can't stand losing control. They deserve their own lives. Just... Dr. Sorkin? Laura. Um, Laura, what's lysine? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. Don't tell my dad, but I got a D in chemistry. Then today should be very educational. The solution we were creating at the lab will reverse this scenario, allowing the animals to live out their natural lifespan. We just need to get it into the main water supply. Okay, that should be easy, right? This is a big responsibility, Jess. I can handle it, Dr. Sorkin. I mean, Laura. Okay, Jess, let's get started. I'm telling you, man, almost made me swear off Chinese food forever. Yeah, right. I've never seen you refuse an egg roll. Never. I said almost. Besides, my date was hot. You remember? The girl with the blonde hair, uh, red scarf, uh, what, what was her name? I don't keep track. Oh, you remember her. She was the one that was wearing the... Hold on. You hear that? Go, go, go! Chopper down right now, or I swear I will shoot you. Oh, that's real smart. If I'm going down, you're going down with me, sweetheart. Jimmy! Oscar, get over here. I'll pull you in. <laughs> Come on, man. That's it. <laughs> Come on. One more. Woman, she's dead when I get in there. Come on, Oscar, put those giant friggin' arms to work. Get in here. Uh, no. Uh, no. You're one stubborn son of a. Hey! What the hell? No problem. You got this. Land this thing now. Not gonna happen. Not so good. Is the water ready? Yep, lysine is now officially a part of this nutritionally balanced dino breakfast. Excellent. Now I just need to get this water into the main supply and we'll be done. That's it, Jess. We did it. 
Jess, come up here. I want you to see this. This is how nature intended these animals to exist. Wow. With all the running away I've been doing, I haven't had time to really appreciate them. Oh, girl, take it easy. What's wrong with that one? Oh, no. Raptors. That's a few good moves, huh? You are lucky to be alive, Jerry. I've never seen anyone outrun a Velociraptor before. Where did they come from? What are they doing out here? They must have escaped from the quarantine pen somehow. Raptors are highly intelligent. They'll find a way up here if we give them enough time. Yes! It's Yoder! 